Alright, back at it again with another Apex Daily Mission here on Mass Effect Drama's multiplayer. This is your operator, Zeus for your Omega, reporting for duty. And for today's Daily Mission is False Flag Operations on Bronze. Once again, returning back to Firebase Baradox and dealing with the Outlaws. One life to live for the modifier, that means no relays during the waves. If you're down and out, you're down and out for that wave until the next one. And just hope you don't get down on wave 7. <laughs> That's a partial extract, and we don't want that. So, High risk, high rewards, plus 20% to experience credits, 10 mission funds. Let's get this bronze started, but first, character loadout. Rocking the human infiltrator with a paw siphon, hurricane concussive, structure ergonomics, silo rifle, rail lamp, and disruptor ammo. Alright. Good day. Good to go, let's rock and roll. Not Good bad. to go, let's rock and roll. Way to do it. Way to get do her it. done. Get her done. Alright, hold on a second, guys. Sorry. I was just buying everything. Yeah, buy it's one less to live bronze. What was that mold? What was that mold? Sorry, it's a new headset. Does anybody got any room? No, I'm leaving after phone. this one. I'm just running a quick bronze. <laughs> yeah, I'm out after this. Yeah, I'm out after this. We're just going to tell it. Yeah. Oh, it's so massive. Oh, it's so massive. And my, uh, my Sonid's not working right on my Turian Soldier. And I re him and tried to, and I did this normal spec and it's still not working. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I, I usually melt a prog in like six seconds or a destroyer when they open up. When I turbocharge it, and I'm like... Shooting it at it with an Avenger, it's doing half the damage. And it's not narrowing it, so it's shooting like a needle when I turbocharge. With that accuracy and stability, it normally shoots like a needle. It turns it from a spray and pay to a freaking guided laser launcher thing. And I don't know, and that's an issue with the. Uh, I don't think it's a gun problem, I think it's a character because I'm having. The old point issues with the jug, and mm -hmm. it's not shooting like a needle, and that's the character's accuracy. Hopefully, by honest, don't want to restart. Hopefully, by honest, don't want to restart. If not, if not, but finish maxing my guns and then find something else to play. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Ooh, that legs. Ooh, that legs. I reset my console I reset today. today. I did mine back on Tuesday. No way, I did reset it earlier today. No way. No, I mean I did the uh, console, console reset, erase everything except for game data. Except for game data. The actual like the actual 15 minute reset where it resets, where it resets everything on the console. No, no, when you go into the settings and you reset the console. Oh. Everything except for game data. So you have to re-log into all your accounts and everything for Netflix, Hulu, and all that crap, but... Only this Only this I think I got my 400 damage with Biotic. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Get that out of the way. <laughs> you want to know a little cheeky spot? You want to know a little cheeky spot? Right here. Right here. Pop behind cover. Uh, Pop behind cover. Uh, but you got to be standing where I am. But you got to be standing where I am. You hug it until you 
I feel like I'm bronze and like a race around and kill stuff. Fellas like you. I don't think I'm even gonna try to compete with you guys. I mean I'm a level one. I'm gonna I mean I already saw the paw. I already saw the paw. Well as long as you don't give up, I'm cool with that. I have not shot anything. <laughs> Sure, yeah. I've not once sure, fired yeah. my gun. Once fired my gun. <laughs> Pure powers. Pure powers. And by yep. Yep. And by Three more to go. I just keep charging into things charging and taking all my shields off here. and they die. I'll just, I'll just ride it out right here. Oh, don't tell me you're in the pity corner. Oh, don't tell me you're in the pity corner. There you go. We're gonna no spam the okay. box of shame on Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see someone crashing there, I have Every flashbacks on the <laughs> Oh no, not Rio. Yeah. What was the one? What yeah. was the one on three that we uh, went in and and did the? Uh... Oh god, what's it called? Oh, I fired my gun once. Fired my gun. Oops. Oops. What was the vanguard that had the whips? He looked like he was in the Oh, the Phoenix, Phoenix Adapt. Phoenix Adapt. Or the yes. Phoenix Vanguard. Uh, and you, you sat there and you whipped the shit through the wall. <laughs> yep. That Just was one of the Phoenix Adapt. The Phoenix Adapt Vanguard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember I changed the name of him to Gimp. Bring him to Gimp. I think I changed I this name to test subject 359. I just sat in the box on top of the ammo box until my trip mines were full, and then I spammed them out there and held down the trigger on the service area. <laughs> Before I brought my bullets and made people mad, like whoever brought a cloak or something when I went out and did the objective. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you right now, man, I missed the bullets with the Caterian gauntlet on it, dude. There was nothing like biotic charging stuff. Yeah. Hey, yeah. The nutcracker. nutcracker, that's what I was saying. Caterian gauntlet on my bullets with an executioner pistol. Dun, 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 I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Really? I don't know, I saw like 9 Nova. 9 Nova. I'm not even taking cover, I'm just gonna walk. Shoot again. Shoot again. Let me pick up my one sticky grenade since I'm level one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when you get that upgrade, you could have gotten your two. It gives you two ranks. You could. You could have yeah, gotten sticky rank level two. <laughs> I don't even have a grenade capacity yet for this character. Oh come on, buddy! Oh, you're gonna have fun. I'm oh, you're gonna all those. Oh yes. Bronze. My level one infiltrator just took a face full of rockets from the Hydra. <laughs> <and live. laughs> Rock trooper. That'd be funny. Rock trooper. See if I can slow the same. I know, right? It's like. I'm, I feel like just going around going, Rawr, I am Trash Panda. You must embody the Trash of the Panda. You must embody the Trash Panda. Panda, Panda, Panda. My son doesn't even, my son doesn't even think this is a cool game to play. He thinks it's, he thinks it's gay. That's what he told me. What do you mean, why am I lying? Boy. Oh, my bad. I think he's stupid. He was torturing the poor boy. <laughs>
Oh man, he's Intelligent a little shithead, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes on a gnome. You should tell him that you're gonna have his name uh, legally changed and put Trash Panda for his gnome name. <laughs> Fuck that. Like the oh, what the? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> one life to live. Like. One life to live. At least I didn't go out alone. I think Trash Panda came with me. What? We all dead. dead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my gun out now. Would you please? Yeah, I blame the, the explosive cannon. Yeah, I blame the flat cannon from the Berserker behind us. Damn, I'm still on this. This is awesome. <laughs> That's just insane, dude. We're just standing there. Right there. It's going down. Big right down, that, bitch. Well, you get the other side. I got this one. Just like the dog. No big deal. The boss. So far, so good. So okay, good. goodness. <laughs> Dog come in. Dog come in. Oh, that's gold. Oh, huh? Ooh, Brian. Keep your shield up. Keep your shield up. Goodbye, Brian. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe the car is going to turn. Honestly, there's a second tier to move. That's what I was thinking happened. <laughs> Whoa, hey. I swear I would I kill Caesar and then leave the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, if I did the Pariah move on. <laughs> no, no, I wanted to kill no, you no. and then leave the game. With the Pariah. <laughs> Balancing it off the Pariahs. <laughs> no, what would have been, what would have been awesome is this, are you, are you recording this one too? Yes, I'm recording it. I'm gonna watch the playback and see what killed me. I'm gonna watch the playback. <laughs> <laughs> you should, I mean, it's just that one round, you're not gonna die this time. Well, hell no, no, no. <laughs> I'm playing it like well, careful now. Until we make it to the LZ, there's a Pariah there, and all of a sudden, Jan exploded. <laughs> I think I know, I think I know what it was. The canister? The canister? No. <laughs> I tried to toss a sticky grenade over, and... It was his I have sticky, a grenade. sticky grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, that was funny. Yeah, I know. I think, I think oh, it was stuck to me. But I think it was. I don't know, dude. It could. I don't know. It's just funny. Well, I know a sticky nade to a explosive well, canister makes it uh, <laughs> very deep for anybody. At least to the person that wants a sticky grenade, I don't think it's take me out. But my money was on the black end. My money was on the black end. I don't know, but we got tore up. Get down! We got tore up from her. We got tore up from her. Nice. Nice headline. Nice headline. Alright. Let's hold the line. Let's hold the line. There it is. Speaking of lines. There it is. Speaking of lines. Okay, look at that. I'm trying to remember the name of the captain and I just can't pronounce it. Is it Kirhe? Kirhe? Is it Kirhe? I thought it was Hadrian. Mm -hmm. Must have lines. That's how I gotta look it up again, again man. Come on, home. I gotta look it up again, man. Don't mind if I do. I should just play Mass Effect 1 again. I tried to get Junior to play Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, but he's got the attention span of a gnat, I'm telling you, man. Dude, the storytelling... Dude, the story... 1, 2... One, about two-thirds two, of 3... Two, a lot of people are... If you're <laughs> I don't want to get into that. That's a whole other argument. <laughs> but the story... Well, you kind of I want to know when we're going to get games on. like... Uh, what was it Star Wars? Star Wars Jedi Knight Three? I think remember when you had the was and article. you could run on walls <laughs> and have light I was reading running on the walls on PC. I was reading an article on the internet out of a website, I think out of England, 
and they were they went and interviewed Casey Hudson and they were came to their own conclusion was writing this own little excerpt on how Mass Effect, Star Wars, and Dragon Age are dead. They're not even gonna keep making them's gonna be their new growth vehicle moving forward. Really? I read a similar article, but really? the I read a article. easy one wants to come back to Mass Effect and all that stuff. Yeah, I read an article just in the Game Informer, this most recent one, that when they were talking about Anthem, and Casey was like, Mass Effect's my baby, it'll always be coming back, type of thing. Now, if they could pull off what they did, similar to God of War and the storytelling on that, into another, like a drama of two, they have another trilogy head, All right. or more. <coughs> They really need to concentrate on that single player aspect Who do you with the story, DLCs, and branch off then the multiplayer with additional DLCs that correspond like in ME3. Correspond like in ME3. Who do you think the benefactor is? I have no clue, but a lot of people thought it was the elusive man, but it can't be him. Someone they lose a man must have trusted one of the humans to expanding to continue on. But hell, it could be anybody. I haven't read the book. I think it's somebody that was affiliated. I, th I think it was somebody affiliated with Cerberus. Yeah, I know that for sure. But I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I th who the benefactor is. Uh, there's a little bit of a like a fan the theory. Reapers. Some people think uh, some people the person, think behind, the the person behind the benefactor was Miranda in her little service cell. Yeah, but she didn't have any money like that though. She didn't have. She the money. had access. To somebody the, was saying it was also it during was, the during the somebody was saying it was also Liara. Yeah, Liara as the shadow broker. I don't think it's Liara. No, because I think it's somebody Shadow Broker. Between or in two and three. As far as we know, it's between three. But Liara in the in the in the, the way of the timeline. Uh, I couldn't think of the word. The 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 first first wave of ships left. Then um, I believe six to nine months. That's when Liara actually became fully Shadow Broker. In the timeline back spec, I'm trying no, to they left. I thought that now the way I didn't read any of the books, I'm just going off of what I've picked up in the game. No, there's an but, actual uh, timeline they release, no, and it shows when and what what they left. And they left. Uh, it was, I think, six a few months weeks prior before the Reapers hit, right? right? Of oh, ME2. No, they left way before that. No, they left way before that. The ship that well, had the, the coins mean, on there, they left closer to where the beginning of 3 was when the Reavers started coming in. But the first wave, the Nexus, and the first three ships left a little bit before the events of Mass Effect 2. Now see, here's the thing, here's, here's what's really got me confused, okay? If, if it was Cerberus behind any of it, or somebody affiliated with Cerberus, <laughs> Before this Why would they make sure that like the Turians and so the Sari and up the with Krogans and all that like got out and not, you know, not mankind? And catching that replay they would. That tells me it's not. That tells me it's not. And that told me it wasn't. Up late, that's the me it wasn't live on Twitch, staying up late and gaming all night. That's the elusive man. But I still think it's somebody who was in Cerberus. Miranda makes.